go into there. Hi there everybody, uh, Peter of England here, uh, outside, as you've just seen, Oldham uh, County Court. I've uh, just made an appearance on behalf of uh, Hall, and uh, this was for a repossession order that uh, Santander Bank, acting supposedly as the hereditable creditor for um, Ally uh, Alliance and Leicester, uh, were making uh, for the repossession of a property uh, up here in Lancashire. Now. Uh, we went in and the district judge refused uh, to allow us to present our case in any sort of reasonable manner. I was there as a, um, what's called a, a litigant friend or a Mackenzie friend. Um, no matter what I actually said to um, the defendant, so-called, Paul, uh, he, wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't listen. He just continually kept asking, are you prepared to pay anything today? Are you prepared to pay anything today? We cited uh, precedent from a high court case in uh, Dublin, whereby Santander had been uh, found to be uh, misrepresenting in court uh, and only issuing, uh, sorry, making claims for repossession orders as for what's called hearsay debt. That was no party in the proceedings actually could verify that a debt had been incurred and Santander, like today, refused and could not produce any documentation, original documentation. All we could be shown sure was photocopies. These photocopies obviously were not originals and neither did they have the signature of both parties or even the original signature of the, the mortgagor. So, we presented this time and time again and all this district judge would do is keep parroting the same phrases and in the end he said, the, as no uh, additional evidence had been uh, submitted, then they were upholding the repossession order. So, where this is going to go now is it's going to go to Queen's Bench Division, Commercial Division of the High Court or the Raw Courts of Justice, whereby we're going to make a, uh, um, a, a tortuous allegation. This will be uh, the tort of conversion or detinue, and this is under also a statutory provision of what's called the Tort Interference with Goods Act 1977 in that they not only took the documents, this is the mortgage deed and the loan agreement, but they have converted them into their own use for mischievous purposes and refuse and fail to return these documents to the rightful owner. Now that is a pure property transaction, it's a theft of the original documents, and so this is where we go from here. So please stay tuned uh, for more on this, and we may need additional help uh, in venues over the coming month or so. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Peter of England signing off.